Hello everyone, today we're going to look at uh, a neat little GNOME utility called GNOME MultiWriter, uh, which is a utility used for writing images to USB sticks. Uh, it's a particularly useful utility for all those who like to distro hop, who like to test out the latest Linux distributions. Um, now GNOME MultiWriter has some fairly bad press. If you do searches for it uh, on the web, uh, you'll find that whilst it actually works very accurately and very reliably, most reports seem to say that it takes an awfully long time to actually write the image. Well, there's a reason for that, um, and it's the way that it actually uh, erases the disk before it writes the image, and you can you can turn that off. So I'm just going to show how you do that, and um, I just encourage you to use this alongside some of the other utilities out there um, that, um, that are available. The most common one that you use is a, is a program called Etcher, uh, which is excellent. It's very good. It's, um, it's cross-platform, runs on Windows and Mac as well. Um, but um, the GNOME utility is also excellent, so we'll fire it up. Um, it's under system on here, so I have it as GNOME USB Writer. And as you can see, when you first fire this up, it will actually look for USB sticks attached to your system. Very simple interface, not very much to this, much like um, much like the Etcher program. Um, so the first thing you need to do is put your USB stick into the machine. So we'll do that first of all. This is a USB 3 stick 30 gig and as you can see it now shows up there as a as a stick but what this will do that some of the others won't is it the clue is in the name it's called multi writer you can add additional sticks so if we add one there you see we've got a sand disk and we can add another and another sand disk and you can keep on doing that to your heart's content you can put 10 20 30 of those in there um, if you wished if you wish to be for example distributing um, images you can you can do it very easily. Um, now we're not going to write to all three so I'll remove those two and we'll cancel uh, cancel those two and concentrate on the SanDisk Ultra. So first thing to do you need to choose your image <clears throat> so up here this little cog in the corner is import ISO uh, by default it takes you to your recent documents um, you can take it to downloads if you wish but um, let's pick one of these so let's for example pick um, Let's pick MX17, MX17 Linux distribution. So we just highlight it, just import it. Shows up under multi-writer at the top there. Now the trick and the thing you must remember to do is to go into settings and turn off wipe. Now wipe here, you can see is on by default. Now if you leave wipe enabled, it will go through the whole of your 30 gig stick and erase every single part before it writes the new image. And that's what takes the time in um, using this application. If you disable that then what will actually happen is that only the image that you're trying to load will be loaded onto the USB stick. It won't attempt to overwrite the rest of the disk. It will wipe the table of contents of course um, and it will do a quick format of the disk in the way that um, you know most hard disks would be treated if you installed them in your machine. Um, there's absolutely no need unless you're being extremely security conscious to use the wipe facility. You might use that, for example, if you were passing the stick on to somebody else um, and you'd used it perhaps for your personal data previously, you might want to um, use that additional feature. But for this instance, we won't do that. So what I'm going to do now is just show you how quickly this writes. Um, as I say, it's a USB 3. And all we do is we hit Start Copying. It's going to warn you that it's going to write to the disks. And you click I understand, enter your password, and off we go. And as you'll see, that says writing. And this is what 1.3 gig. This uh, this image. So we'll see how fast this writes. Um, I think it's comparable, if not faster, than the Etcher. But um, you make your own minds up. Okay, see what you think. And there we go. It's writing at what 16, 18, 20 megabits per second. Uh, not long to go now. And it's now checking it back. It's now reading and checking the information it's just written to the disk. Or the stick, I should say. And there we are, successfully written. Now, I think that was probably what less than less than thirty seconds to write one point three gigs to a USB stick. Now I have to cancel there, so it's going to remove that. But you get the general idea. So there we are, a very nice little uh, little application. Um, easily uh, able to compete with uh, with Etcher and a useful alternative to that um, should you wish to try something else. 
uh, to install it on your system it's in most repos it's certainly in um, Debian repos the Ubuntu repos um, it's in SUSE RPM repos uh, I've no idea about Gentoo probably given it's a fairly old long in the tooth application I see no reason why it wouldn't be um, but to in to install it what you need to do is just open your terminal Debian of course so sudo apt install this is uh, so gnome hyphen multi hyphen writer and that will install so it's already installed on this system it's telling me that but neat little program very small and very effective so i hope you found that useful um give it a try thanks for watching